Hello and welcome to another episode of Equestrian the Game. I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be making my dream horse. I'm very excited guys. Um, yeah, so I've wanted to do this from the start. As on the market there are some coats that I don't see very often. So the goal today is to make a horse that is quite rare, don't see very often on the market and yeah, my dream horse basically, a horse that I've been looking for but just haven't been able to find. So let's get into it straight away, let's start making this horse. Now obviously it's going to be a Swedish warm blood or a thoroughbred, probably a Swedish warm blood, yes. <laughs> because they are my favourite breed. I hope we do get more breeds in the future, that would be amazing. Um, but at the moment this is my favourite breed, so obviously this will be my dream horse. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of the colours and see all of the options. And yeah, just experiment. This one looked nice, it's like a chocolate colour. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go through and it's for you guys as well, so you can see all of the different variants of all the different mates and tails, because I don't know, uh, some of you may not have seen that, so it's nice to go through. Now these two variants are black, like one is like a, a blue black and one is just like a, a black black. And there are two kind of buckskin looking ones but it's brought to my attention that one of those is probably a dun so it may have a dorsal stripe which would be really cool. I don't see very many palominos, I see a few palominos on the market but not too many. Cremello I do not see hardly any, it's quite rare, I've seen a couple. Um, but yeah, that is a rare one and I do love how the Cremello looks, so that is an option. And the main and tail options as well look really good with the different kind of base variants as well. So this is the one that I'm not sure if it, it may be the Dun. I can't see the, the horse's back. And this one as well, the Grillo. Now this one I have never seen a, um, a Dutch warm blood. Swedish warm blood, my bad, on the um, market with this coat. So this is a top contender, let's say, for my choice because I've never seen it. And look, on the legs you can see that it's got the, um, the tiger stripes there on the legs. So that's pretty cool. It may have a dorsal stripe as well. If it does then I would be so happy. But I'm going to go through this last coat just for you guys as well so you can see the different mane and tail variants. That's very pretty though. I do like the kind of dark chestnut with a light mane and tail, the flaxen look. But yeah, this one is definitely the one I think I'm going to go for because it's very rare. As I say, haven't seen it and it's a horse colour that I really like. So now we're going to go on to the head markings. And what ones to choose? There are so many nice ones. I want something that looks kind of cute. I do like that uh, star and snip. The bald face is nice, the badger face is nice too, but it's not really my thing, it's not my favourite face marking. I really like the, the star and the snip, so let's try that. As for leg markings, I don't want all of the feet to have markings on the legs, I don't think. Maybe just the hind feet, like that, might look kind of cool. And then have the front, front feet without any, and I don't want the socks to go too high either. So as for a mane, now I really like this one and I really like this one, the braided one. So it's a choice between those and I have to say when the horse has all the tack on and everything the braid looks really good. So I'll probably go with that. And the tail now, oh look at those stripes, they look amazing. Um, so as for the tail, I do really like this big bushy one. I have to say it looks very cool. It's very pretty. So we'll go with that. And the eyes, so you know what, on the market it's very rare to see horses with blue eyes. They do come up, but uh, they are obviously more often than not brown. So let's go with blue. I think with the coat as well, those blue eyes are really nice. Oh look how he's resting his back foot. Well he's a, he's a boy by default, I think it, uh, it's stallion by default. So. At the moment he's a boy. Should we make it a boy or a girl? Oh gosh, we'll have to decide that in a bit. But yeah, um... Okay, so this is how he looks so far. I'm kind of liking the socks. I don't want them too high, like I said, because I don't want them to mess with the tiger stripes on the legs. 
So just back to the face markings here, I'm kind of torn. I kind of like that bald face, but see the star and the snip are very cute. I just think it's adorable. I really like it and this one's nice as well. Oh gosh, it's really hard to choose. But I think I will go for this. It is so cute. Oh, decisions. Okay, right, let's go with that then. And now for temper, I prefer kind of hot tempered. And we're going to go for my favourite trait. So it's got to really be either charismatic or jumping prospect. And I think jumping prospect, to be honest, is a trait that I always look for on market horses. Now quirks are the tough one really because um, yeah it kind of it kind of means they're kind of bad it's almost like a bad trait almost uh, it's hard to choose which one I don't really want spooky happy go lucky is kind of nice it's kind of nice because it means that the horse is playful but maybe a slower learner I'm not sure this one's kind of good it makes it more responsive and that might affect the um yeah that might affect the horse in a good way because then it listens to you more okay so this one i'm kind of always lean between um careful and light step those are my two favorite ones so careful or light step so careful means it's less likely to knock down poles but light step means that it turns quicker so it's really helpful when you're trying to do like time like cut time on courses because it means that you can cut corners and make jumps with, like, with more of a turn but then careful means that obviously you are, are less likely to knock down the poles so oof I think light step is actually for me the better one of the two so oh do I go for that or the other one I think light step <laughs> Oh gosh, this is so hard, guys. <laughs> this is really hard. Um, so, this is one of the tough ones as well because I think it's good to get the horse to be intelligent and everything. But I kind of like this dramatic one, which means that when it's in good form, it performs even better. So, if you keep your horses in good form, then your horse is just gonna perform better anyway and it's very rare that I let them get in bad form so obviously that would be great to just have a, a, a stat there a trait that keeps them in like that keeps them doing better in competition so probably dramatic so what sort of horse have I made let's see it's gonna be kind of a good jumper a little bit cranky and dramatic but good at turning so it's kind of a cool horse really I think kind of a cool personality going on I kind of like those traits I think I think that'll work oh my gosh he looks so cute so I just imagine if I had this horse in real life I would be so happy okay do you think we should put anything on the front feet I'm just thinking, I'm just looking. Maybe just, mm, I don't know guys. I think I kind of like it without any socks at all. Most horses have some sort of marking on them in the market. Like I've never seen one with just the hind feet and nothing on the front. I, I probably have, but like not very often. And as for height, I don't want the horse to be too tall but not too short at the same time, so somewhere 16, 1, 16, 2 maybe. Just like a, a nice sized horse. Because when you do make them really tall, they are kind of massive. So 16, 2, probably, yep, I think. Let's go for that. Oh, that he's pouring the ground. He wants to go back to the stable, guys. Well, I think we should double check the hair as well, the mane. Let's just make sure that we're giving him the right mane style to suit him. I kind of like the long ones. I do like the long ones. And I do like the short ones as well. But the braid one, yeah, I just think the braid one is my favorite. 
Sorry I keep going back, but I have to make sure this is the perfect dream horse, you know what I mean? I am spending real money on it, so... Right, so, uh, a name. Now I'm going to use one of your guys' name suggestions, so thank you very much for the name Topaz. So let's go with that. And yeah, let's just make him a stallion. I think he looks like a stallion. So, Topaz. There's your lifetime certificate, and now we can have a proper look at you. Yes, he does have a dorsal stripe, guys. Did you see that? On the back there, there's a dorsal stripe, and the tiger stripes on the legs. Oh my gosh, with the blue eyes, and the star and the snip. I think he looks lovely. Very cool. And as for the height, I think that's a nice height as well. I wonder what tack I'm going to put on. So let's uh, buy him and go and have a look. So we've got to get some tack on this guy. We're going to head straight into the stable. And pop some tack on. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. He looks amazing. Oh yeah, first we have to check the stats. So we got 721 as his max potential. And obviously he's very he's not very trained in all of his um, abilities, so we're gonna have to do a lot of training. But that's absolutely fine. As he's kind of like a, a grulo colour, I think dark tack would look great on him. So let's pop some dark a dark bridle on. And what pad? Probably maybe a black one or a white one? Maybe black. And then the other little pad, a sheepskin pad maybe. Might look kind of cool and comfy. So the boots, I think obviously these are the only kind of black and white ones that I've got. Everything else is like a colour and then we can put some bell boots on maybe. And the ear nets will probably be black. Black or white, black probably to suit the pad. And then we'll whack a breastplate on there now. I don't have one that's like, the one with white on it has got brown on the leather but I think I'll just go for that one anyway. And we will give him some energy feed because I'm going to take him training straight away and get the ball rolling. Get him ready for some competitions. So we're going to go to the countryside meadows and have a good look at him. If you like the video today consider like, comment and subscribing. It really does help the channel. And I appreciate it so much guys. I appreciate all of the support from you guys. It's been amazing. If you have any requests of what you want to see in a question in the game or any other videos, just let me know in the comments. Alright, so I'm going to move him into the light now so we can get a good look at him. He's kind of in the shade right now. So, let's have a little look at him. He looks great in the sunlight. That colour is amazing. With his blue eyes. As he's a bit cranky, I wonder if he'll be like a bit spooky around bushes and things. We'll have to see. He's got a really nice trot. And you can just see his little star poking out under his ear net there. And his cute little snip. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. I love him, guys. His dorsal stripe, wow. But I am going to go and continue his training. I will give you guys an update on how he's doing and we'll hopefully do some videos of him competing as well and we'll just sort of follow his progress really as we've got Milton as well we've got Milton who we made and now we have Topaz who we made so we've got two horses that are creation horses and we'll see how they do I'm gonna go and continue my training thanks for watching take care and bye bye